This is live. This is rolling. Okay. This is not live, but this is this is the real deal. So this is our inventory right now, folks, in our uh, our Spico situation. What we have going on? <clears throat> Fully stocked. No, we actually ran out of Spicos for the first time. We got a couple here that are sold, just waiting on. Um, a lot of times, customers order something, but they don't want to take delivery right away for a variety of reasons, right? Maybe they have a uh, maybe they're on vacation, maybe they're waiting for a tractor to come in, maybe they um, have a, a, a winter home or a summer home or whatever, and they're just waiting until they're there to take delivery. So anyway, that's what these are set aside here for, but we normally have stock shelves full of Spicos, and uh, we sold out for the first time. They transitioned to new ownership, that brand, and so just I think the paperwork side of things and that transition slowed down supply chain and so we're going to get restocked here again soon but out of stock for the first time on Spico's our most popular item by volume that we sell um, out of stock for the first time in like almost two years I think it is so that's kind of a bummer we should reverse that trend here anytime now though uh, I do have stump buckets here that are getting ready to get packaged up another very popular item this is our kind of our ground room so we ship Siri wants to talk to me right now what'd you find Siri how to prepare and send a package via UPS, oh, via USPS. Wow, Siri's really paying attention. So this is our ground room, UPS ground. And so this is where we pack up everything in here. Uh, stump records, Spicos, UHMW, soon to have mirrors back in stock that we'll be sending out. Um, oh, well, there's Versa brackets, other small items too. So that's what you see going on in here and uh, what we kind of deal with. But I want to go show you the UHMW that we have out here. I want to give you guys a little, a little insight on this. A good way for you to save some money. So UHMW comes in and, and strips that are 10 foot long, like these sections, these really long sections that you see. And now most folks need, a f well, you can see the popular sizes, 54, 60, 66, 72. And so we get left with cutoff strips that are, you know, maybe four foot something like that. Sometimes they're a little bit shorter. We have tons and tons of cutoffs that are somewhere out here. They're, they're, you can see, look over against the wall over there, Chris. There's some of the cutoffs that are there. We have, we have a whole huge bit of them uh, somewhere. But the point being is that you can get those cutoff strips for way less than, than a normal piece. So we sell the scraps or the leftovers for a significant discount where you can buy those and trim them to whatever the length you need and then put them on your plow, uh, on your bucket, uh, on your snow pusher, on your blower, on your ear blade, whatever it is, protect your driveway and get set up for a fraction of the cost. And you can butt up two, three, four pieces of those scrap pieces of material and it'll work just fine. And in fact, on some of the really high end HLA pushers and plows that they have, they have something called an edge flex, which is actually individual sections of edge that's on there and it serves a purpose to help it flex over uneven terrain, especially on wider uh, blades and things like that too. So you're kind of getting a, the poor man's version of that by splicing together all these smaller sections, saving more money and potentially getting a little bit more, I don't know, improved performance out of it. Anyway, I digress. Uh, pallet forks over here. Can't remember if I showed you guys before, but we actually have Yanmar quick attach pallet forks here now too. Okay, this is the Yanmar quick attach that's on here. We have Yanmar quick attach pallet forks, Yanmar quick attach stump buckets, Yanmar quick attach snow pushers, and we can also order Yanmar quick attach grapples from Ironcraft, all right? And so um, I'll show you an Ironcraft grapple, I'm kind of bouncing around here a little bit. But this is an Ironcraft grapple. We normally ship these factory direct to customers. Okay, this one happens to be just a local customer, so we had this just shipped right in here to us, and he's going to come pick it up from us. But here's a double jaw Ironcraft grapple. Lay some eyeballs on that. We've shown you some of the other Ironcraft grapples too, but uh, hadn't shown you this exact setup here. So this is a 66-inch uh, wide double jaw, the Economy Root grapple, made in America. Crazy good price point on these, so just a, an excellent value. You can get them in Skid Steer Quick Attach, John Deere Quick Attach. Yanmar quick attach, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so the rest of the forks over here, 
The only ones you don't see here right now are the Versa forks, all right? Those are our own forks that can mount on the front end loader or the three-point hitch. They've got a built-in two-inch receiver, chain hooks on them, a weight rail to hang suitcase weights if you need more ballast weight on there. Um, anyway, those are coming very soon. We just started pre-selling those. Check those out on the website. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, so uh, you're gonna see a lot of snow pusher related stuff, very popular seller. It's October right now. We're getting into the beginning of snow pusher season. And so you've got a lot of edges and runners over here. A lot of the snow pushers all along the back. Snow pusher frames, snow pusher back drags. So these all come in and as separate components. Oh, Chris, show them this big old, this big old one here. And we have to bolt all this stuff together depending on what options you select. Look at this big guy. This is a 3500 series, 10 foot wide. This is for a big, a big machine. Now, three, four years ago, we sold a 4500 series pusher. I think that was a 12 foot, maybe it was a 10 foot to Millennial Farmer. Uh, you'll check that out on his channel too. He still uses that in video a couple times a year, but uh, they make a 5500, maybe even it was a 6500 series. Never sold a 55 or a 6500 don't really sell too many 3500s even um, these are these are big snow pushers you need you need a big piece of equipment to operate these but i'm six foot three it's laying on its back of course but you can for scale <laughs> get an idea of how how big this is most of you guys are buying the 1500 series or the 1800 series you know the all this stuff here and we got this is just we've had two or three semi loads so far we've sent out a whole bunch um we probably will have maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 semi loads of pushers coming in this year, but they're popular for good reason. The green ones are left over still from last year. We still, we're carrying only black, okay? So if you see green, we have a few random green ones left. So we can order any color you want, green, red, blue, construction yellow, uh, orange, all that, but uh, we've decided to transition to only black. It kind of is a neutral color, goes with everything. We can special order the other stuff special order the other stuff but it's uh, gonna have a lead time so here's our tillers you know this is the the tough thing about stock and equipment is it changes from one year to the next what everybody's gonna buy and so you're guessing what people are gonna buy the following year and you just don't know like last year we couldn't keep enough tillers in stock and this year I bought more based on a, a bigger increase in sales and we sold about the same amount as last year and so this is the leftover stuff right now which is fine we can carry into, we'll sell them. Actually, we just sold a tiller yesterday. I mean, people are still buying tillers. They'll trickle out, um, but we'll probably have some come spring and just won't have to order nearly as many for next season. These are great tillers, Dirt Dog. We've tried to, tried to do videos on pretty much every attachment we sell. I'm sure there's some that we don't have videos on, but um, if we don't have videos now, they'll be coming. There's some more, we missed some stump wreckers in the other area, but there's more stump wreckers here. We got a, we're getting restocked too. We got a load coming, oh, might be Friday actually in three days. We're supposed to be restocked and all these shells will be full again. We sell a lot of stump wreckers. So these, this whole shelf over here, I bought a wholesale lot of uh, the traditional style of Speedco quick hitches. Okay, I bought these over a year ago now, I think it was. And they are significantly cheaper because I bought them at a wholesale, like a closeout lot. <clears throat> these are the kind that use bushings though. And nobody wants that. So even though they're cheaper, <laughs> well, I think these ones down here are the, are the cat too. But uh, up top, they're the, they're the cat, cat one on this shelf, all these shelves here. But same concept. And yeah, so anyway, these are cheaper, all right, but they don't, they trickle out of the door. Everybody wants the version that doesn't use bushings because it's logical, right? And so it's just a difference. It's just funny though. 
uh, random brush crushers, random other stuff, bale spears. The last video we did in the spring, I, I would bet we haven't sold a single one of these. And I said it then, I'm not going to stock these anymore after we sell these. They just don't sell many bale spears. And that's something, a, a comment, a couple comments on our VersaForks now too, that we're selling, you know, why don't you have um, bale spear, like, slots on there where you can mount bale spears in and it's because i don't sell bale spears i have almost no demand we sell nationwide right so it's not like it's only our local market we sell down south out west midwest east doesn't matter we sell everywhere nobody wants to buy bale spears and so adding the extra cost onto our product for something that serves such a small portion of our market it would just drive the cost up most people wouldn't utilize it so it just didn't make sense to add that on um Everything down here, wheel weights. Okay, so wheel weights, uh, yellow. Well, there's probably some suitcase weights in there too, but uh, mostly wheel weights. Actually just got an orange wheel weights too, all right? So orange and a couple of different sizes. Uh, I think it was 70 pounds, 85 pounds and 105 pounds, something like that. It's on our website. So good for the Kubotas and the Coyote tractors as well. All right, and then we've got them for most John Deere sizes uh, too. We have some extra grapples up here. So I'm really, really, really trying to focus on not physically stocking as much equipment. So as I've kind of talked about with the tillers as a good example, and we'll see more of this outside too, it's just a guessing game, and I'm tying up so much cash on sort of a bit of a gamble, right? Um, I don't know exactly what's going to sell and how much to buy. And now that we're post-pandemic, some of the manufacturers are starting to have good lead times. And so if, we, if you buy something from us and we can submit it to the factory and order it, sometimes it's only a two or three week lead time. Sometimes they have the stuff in stock there too. And so with these short lead times or in-stock stuff at the factories, it helps keep the cost down because we don't have to pay to transport the equipment into us, which drives the price up and then ship it back out. Um, and then it just helps us be able to offer more, uh, a bigger variety of equipment, right? If it's not just picking certain sizes and models that we can stock here, we can open up the catalog more with those manufacturers and, and give you guys more options as well to choose from. So. There are some benefits to it. Um, if you can afford to wait an extra couple of weeks, uh, that's gonna be a nice thing. So uh, putting a couple of hydraulic kits on tractors right now, that's why you, you see these here, putting a multiplier on the back of this one, which is just about done. Actually, yeah, so take a look at this. We just got, we got the hoses made up actually, they're ready. We just had to get, get the hoses and uh, plug them in. So this is a hydraulic multiplier. So this down here that I'm touching right now, was the rear remote that came on this tractor. And the customer buying this wanted to add on uh, an extra multiplier. And so we installed this before it's getting shipped out. And this turns this one hydraulic function into three hydraulic functions back here. So it gives more versatility. This comes from Summit Hydraulics. You can get these, you can get hydraulic multipliers, third function kits, top and tilt kits, hydraulic hoses, Hydraulic fittings, all that kind of stuff. You can save 5% with code UWT on their website. Coyote, we're putting a third function kit on this Coyote as well. Uh, just got this all laid out and ready to go. And Coyote kits are one of the easiest kits to install. The Coyote dealers love doing it. So um, I think we've got everything shown in here. Let's take some stuff outside. Oh, actually, we got part of this installed already. This is what, this is the third function kit. So this is a, the Summit Hydraulics kit right here. Got it installed and it's kind of starting in the front, working our way towards the back. So, getting there. Swing outside and take a look. Now we are mid, mid process of getting our building painted. And it's a bad time of year to do it. <laughs> the painter actually, Painted it and then it rained afterwards. He's got to redo this whole section here. Pretty bummed out about that. That's how that goes. It'll get fixed though. So. It'll get fixed. 
So we got everything pulled away from the building. So that's why the brush hogs are out here and all the pallets and all the other stuff. But uh, 2032 R, that one just came in. That's a low hour machine. We started selling used tractors again. So it's been fun. Everything's still pretty organized out here. We've got some discs left. Some aerators, there's some more aerators in another location as well, and then some box blades over here. A few little random things here and there. You know, anytime you don't know what size tool to get for your tractor, just shoot an email. Okay, I mean, for most of the popular models, I know off the top of my head what you need. Um, you know, there's some other brands I don't know, but it's easy enough for me to look up, and I'm gonna base it on machine width, um, weight of the machine and horsepower and make a recommendation on it. You want to cover the width of your machine with most attachments. Um, sometimes you can go wider and be okay, sometimes you can't. So landscape rakes, added wheel or uh, gauge wheels to these landscape rakes recently in a video, in a couple videos I think maybe, and landscape rakes with wheels are incredible. So the, I, I love them without the wheels, but adding the gauge wheels to them makes them even more versatile such a handy tool to have relatively cheap in the tractor world too as far as attachments go i'd encourage you to check them out uh, a little bit of del marino stuff left over not much just about sold out of everything and uh we'll be restocked next year gonna carry the ironcraft flail mowers too next year really looking forward to those um i I love the Del Marino, and I'm not going to get rid of the Del Marino, but I've really enjoyed everything that I've used from Ironcraft, and so I'm excited to see their flail mowers as well and see how they perform. There's some more of the aerators there. Have a few land planes left. It was a good year for land planes. That was one of them, again, but this year, 60 inch and 72 inch land planes were the big ticket, and we sold out of those way too early in the season you just got to have like a it's like the stock market for tractor attachments you just have no idea what's actually going to sell it's all based on hunches and stuff uh rear blades though these basically never sell they seem like a staple of a tractor in the tractor attachment world but we just we just don't sell many rear blades i don't know why but um, they aren't my favorite tool i mean i think there's other tools that are better maybe that's why Maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should say they're my favorite tool, but uh, I can't do that. Got a few aerators left. Aerators, Colts Packers, sorry. No, <laughs> nope. Got a lot of these left. Last year, couldn't keep these in stock. Now this is a good time of year to use them in the fall, early winter. These are for drainage, subsoilers, all right? Great for drainage taking care of those problems in your fields around your property. These are heavy duty. We have the smaller versions for smaller tractors, but these are for your utility tractors. You know, you get a single bottom, maybe for like a, a 4066 or an L6060. Um, we use a double bottom on our Kubota. Really, really beefy <laughs> subsoilers. Uh, unreal, uh, unbelievable. So, oh, let's see. Oh yeah, Chris has mentioned the used listing, yeah. We've got uh, a used listing now, used slash demo. So when we get in random pieces of used equipment, or if I'm done doing demo with a, a piece of equipment, we've just got one kind of rolling listing where we update it with a few pictures and uh, add the items to, our, to that listing. And so you can save a decent chunk of money. And oftentimes if it's a demo, it's still gonna come with a full warranty and you're gonna get it at a cheaper price. Um, or, you know, just ran, if we get, you know, since we're buying tractors again, for example, sometimes tractors come in with extra attachments with them, and, and when we resell them, a customer doesn't want to buy all the attachments that came with, and so those would go into the user listing, for example. So that kind of thing. Uh, more snow pusher stuff. All the snow pusher stuff there. Snow plows as well, HLA snow plows. You can get those a manual or a hydraulic angle. And so then here's all of our used machines that are for sale, not this Summit. Again, we're, we're done doing the advertising deal with Summit now, so this is just gonna get picked up and go back to them. 
but it was a good tractor. Still recommend those. But it worked out, right? Back in uh, the used tractor game. Got a few machines at our house too that I use out there for video. But a good variety of equipment. This one sold. That cab tractor down there sold. But, you know, I, I used to sell a lot of the 1025s and the BXs, and I still love the 1025, never been a big fan of the BX. But I enjoy selling a little bit bigger or tractors. You know, I, I enjoy using them. I like to use them. And having, I guess, maybe personally having more property and wanting to use bigger tools, maybe that's... Maybe that's drawing me towards it too a little bit as well is because I like to use this stuff and, and show you guys how it's working and all that kind of thing and get more familiar with it myself. And, and I also like, I just like cab equipment. I like to be, whether it's in the summer for dust, allergies, bees, heat, or if it's in the winter, snow, wind, cold, I just like a cab. And I know they're more expensive. Um, and we get in, obviously, the open stations here and there too. But... Um, Generally, you'd have to have a bigger tractor to get a cab on it with air conditioning and, and heat. You know, you can get some of the smaller tractors with heat only, which you can take the doors off in the summertime. But, you know, anyway, I'm just kind of rambling, I suppose. More snow pusher stuff here. So really, folks, that's a, a good look. I want you to, it's good to see, I don't know, a unique perspective, I suppose. A lot of dealers probably don't show you this kind of stuff and it's nice to know, kind of get a hands-on of what's actually going on with the dealership. We're just kind of transitioning from that summer mode to the winter mode. Um, there's certain staples that we sell you around like the pallet forks and ballast weight uh, with the wheel weights and, and suitcase weights and um, there's other products that we don't sell a lot of like those tillers. We won't sell a lot of those until spring. It's just that's how that works. <laughs> You're not really tilling in the winter time, but the snow pushers, snow blowers, snow plows, UHMW, all that kind of stuff, that's what we're really gearing up towards for fall and the first half of winter. And then uh, that second half of winter, that's when we'll start to get restocked, resupplied for all the, the summertime tools, you know? And I don't know, we don't really have any plans to bring on any new suppliers at this point. I'm sure we will. I just don't have anything on the radar right now. Uh, we're, we're really happy with the manufacturers that we're working with, have a lot of good partners. Uh, there's always things that are gonna change over time, but I focus on providing quality, feature-rich equipment at a good price point. I don't ever expect to be the cheapest because you just can't, you can't get the quality and you can't get the features and also be the cheapest. That's just, you're cutting corners somewhere. It's, you just can't do that. So I want there to be a good competitive price point without sacrificing the quality or, or the features. And so that's what you're gonna find here. And we ship nationwide, we ship all over the country. That's all we do. So you'll see semi trucks in and out of here all day long, dropping stuff off and picking stuff up. And we just have a good time. So if you're looking for something for your tractor or maybe you need to get a tractor and some attachments, we'd love to help you out. You can go to goodworkstractors.com to see what we have to offer. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.